What's up, YouTube? Get ready. We're about to review the GST Prime. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Now, we are going over the GST Prime and the differences and the similarities between that and its older brother, the GST-1003. The GST Prime, which is the new version of the GST-1003, just came out last year. It sold out for a little bit, but now it's back in stock. It's $120. I bought mine on the Wilson website. You can get yours on Amazon. I think Amazon has it, I'm not sure. I'll put a link in the description. The similarities between the new Wilson Prime GST and the old version, GST-1003, are pretty similar. I mean, they have a lot of things in common. Same basic leather. We have the stitched on white stripes on the GST Prime as well as the GST 1003. We have the dimpled soft grip laces on the GST Prime just like we do on the GST 1003. That's basically it. Everything else is different. The GST Prime, as you can see, has these quadrants here, here, and stitching all around where you basically hold the ball. So what they did was they put these stitch in there to have added grip when you're holding the ball and you wanna fire it around. I personally, I kinda of like it. I, I, I think it's a, a pretty big upgrade from the GST 1003. Is it $40 worth? I don't know, but we'll see. I'm gonna sling this around Sunday and I'll tell you what I think about it after. But first, we gotta break this bitch in and we're gonna do that right now. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab a damp towel, probably about lukewarm, semi-lukewarm, and you just want to take the towel. Now, this part's dry, this part's wet, and you just want to rub into the ball, all right? Give it a good rubbing, get that white wax stuff all off, change the grip of the towel, use the backside, see, how, see what's happening to the towel? I don't know if you can see that, but it's changing color because this wax stuff that Wilson ships the ball out with, I guess it's to preserve the leather, you need to get off because it just makes the ball uncatchable. Getting all this white stuff off the ball so it looks like that now. Totally different from when I started. And that's just rubbing it with water. We're gonna let this bitch rest five minutes, let it dry out so we can continue the process of breaking in this ball. As you can see, I just wiped down this ball three times, let it sit for five minutes every time I wiped it down with my rag. My rag is destroyed now. It has brown and yellow goop all over it. That's in the laundry. Hopefully it'll get washed. If you can tell, the ball now has kind of a dark brown, uh, sorry, medium brown shine, all right? The white stuff, the white wax is almost completely off of it. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna take our brush and our tack bar. I got this from Wilson. You can get it on Amazon. I'll link it in the description. So we take our leather brush. So we're gonna separate this into panels, right? So there's four panels. One, two, three, and four. I start at the bottom. Seams are my panels. And I just take the brush and I will just go up and down the panel like this. Now, if you can tell, this ball is turning very brown with just a few brushes. If you look at the difference, that's not done. That is done. Now, I like to rub this for about five minutes each panel. I mean, this is something that is time consuming, but you just do this once and the ball's broken in, so. You always want to break in your balls as best as possible. Now I tend to not rub the white or the laces. I don't know, some people do, I don't, especially with the tack bar, I don't. So I just try to stay when I'm doing this, this panel. I'll go tip, middle, tip. I'll leave the white and I'll leave the laces alone. want to 
nice dark color. Like my Duke. You're gonna have to scrub. If you can tell how dark that is compared to that. Look at the difference. Right there. So, let's continue to do a little scrub scrub. Okay. So as you can see now, the ball is very, very dark. It has been conditioned with a leather brush. And look at that beautiful shine. It's beautiful. Here's the tack bar. Very simple. Do not brush this on, then go to the ball. It's not the way to do it. Take your ball. Take your tack bar. You will take. Go by panel to panel, just like we did. You will do one swipe on the top seam, one swipe in the middle, and one swipe on the bottom seam. So now, as you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of tackness on there. Just take your brush, and you rub that. Hear that? That's what you want. So now, the whole ball has been tackified. And that's it, fellas. Look at this thing. Look how beautiful that looks. Spend a little more time, wipe it down more. If you want a darker color, tackify it more, brush it more, whatever you want to do. But it's tacky as hell now. Look at that. One hand all day. Hope this video informed you. Drop a like, drop a subscription. I'll have more, many more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Peace.